Hey guys, welcome back to Catching IQ. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite things, and that's throwing back picks. Against the Chicago Cubs, Brandon sneaks in. Protecting a 2-0 lead at the time. Snap throw to first and out. Before we get started though, make sure you hit the subscribe button. That really helps us grow our channel, and it makes sure that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. If we can get a back pick for an out, that's really going to help our team out. If our pitchers are struggling to throw strikes or walking a lot of guys, or the opposing team is having a big inning, if we can get a guy on a back pick, that shifts the momentum back towards our team and really helps them out. The majority of our work for back picks is actually done before we actually throw the ball. There's a lot of things that you need to have thought about before you make an attempt at a back pick. A couple of things that you really want to think about, we want to always keep our eyes on all the runners on each base, see what they're doing, see how big of a lead they're getting, see how aggressive they're being on the bases, take account of their body language and what they're doing so that we can see whether or not we have an opportunity for a back pick. The other thing you want to think about is how quick are they getting back to the base? Are they getting their secondary lead and hustling back? Are they getting their secondary lead and just kind of slowly walking back to the base? Hey, if they're hustling back, there's no need to throw a back pick because we probably don't have that great of an opportunity for it. But if they're going slow back to it, then we can start to set up a back pick with our infielder. There's certain situation and pitches that are better for back picking, and we need to be thinking about those before we do it. Realize that every throw we make is an extra risk we take of throwing the ball away and giving them an extra base. So we need to make sure when we throw our back pick that we have a good opportunity to get an out. We don't want to make that extra throw if we don't need to. Here's a few of my favorite situation and pitches to throw back picks on. Number one is a missed bunt attempt. Okay, if the, if the hitter is bunting and he misses, a lot of times runners are anticipating that he's going to put the bun on the ground and they get too big of a secondary lead that's a great opportunity for us to try to throw a back pick and get an out number two is picking a ball in the dirt okay a lot of runners will try to read a ball in the dirt and try to get a good jump so they can get another base if we end up picking that ball with our glove make sure that you you take a look at a runner see if he got too aggressive of a secondary lead and then try to make a throw to get a back pick for an out. Number three is trail runners napping. A lot of times if you have runners on first and second or bases loaded, the trail runners will be sleeping on the bases because they don't think that they're the biggest threat and that's an opportunity to set up a back pick with an infielder. Okay, number four, on a two strike count, throwing a fastball up high, if that's a good pitch to throw, that's a good time to look for a back pick because we're already up into our throw and we can make a quick throw to try to get a strike him out, throw him out. Number five is throwing a back pick to first base when our first baseman's playing back. He can sneak in after the pitch and we can try to pick a runner off who's getting too, too big of a lead. The other thing we need to think about before we back pick is are we on the same page with our infielders? The last thing we want to do is be really aggressive with our back pick and, and throw to a base that no one's covering. Now we're giving up extra bases, sometimes uh, extra two bases. So you need some type of sign with your infielders to communicate, hey, we want to try to throw a back pick to get this guy. It can be a, a quick flash of the hand, can be adjusting your mask, uh, it can be tucking your shirt in. Just make sure that they, there's a confirmation sign from the infielder so that you can tell that he got your sign and that he'll be covering the base when you throw a back pick. If you guys have any questions regarding back picks, please leave a comment below and we'll be sure to get back to you and answer any questions that you have. Really appreciate you guys watching this video. Hope you liked it and be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time.